Hello, I'm Freddie Brompton. What really is an editor? What are they for? They put a story together, add meaning and change how the audience feels. Therefore, they're rather important. But who can be a great example of this? Kevin Grutert, a renowned editor slash director. What impact have they had on this industry? He works mostly in horror films and thriller films. Based in LA with his work including Billy Dawn franchise, Saw, and horror cult classic, In the Strangers. These suggesting he is a genre editor with having a distinct suspense style of editing, but the scare is completely different. This is due to the way he cuts his films sound for his edit. However, let's look a bit deeper to find out some more in Kevin Grutert's own words. On his LinkedIn, he specifically states his incredible work on the Saw franchise and The Strangers. Therefore, in the film The Strangers, we see a shot of a woman in a kitchen, but with no cut to another shot happening. The audience focuses more on the image, seeing the masked man in the darkness, creating that suspenseful jump scare, building fear and setting up the potential scares for later on in the film. However, there's another style of suspense editing which Kevin does, which is now labelled as torture porn, with his work in Saw 2 and onward in the franchise. In Saw 2, we see an extreme fast-paced editing style used to hide the audience's attention and adrenaline, mixed with the grotesque score seen on screen, make the most uncertain and watch for the viewer possible. Crane spins not through slow-paced editing and then the scare, but with a hard editing style, extremely fast-paced with the visuals of blood and torture. But there's a unique editing style difference between Saw 1 and Saw 2. The first, which is a noir horror thriller focusing on the detective work, with a slow-paced edit with very few cuts in between like Strangers, but still having that gory image like Saw 2. Therefore, shown another one of Kevin's editing styles, which is more on the spectrum of suspense making. However, to reinstate the beautifully artistic work of Kevin with the slow-paced editing style and honing on one shot just for that full impact, we see this with the opening of The Strangers, which is a flash forward to the ending of the film. This is another one of his traits, which is a non-linear format. This also shown in the later Saw films. Each shot that Kevin cuts you from the two boys having a meaning and foreshadowing effect with the events later on in the film, which creates suspense and interest for the audience, which poses the question, why they show me this? These why questions also been opposed to the Saw franchise and Saw 2. Why would Kevin edit these Saw films in a way to make us see torture porn being shown? This is to push forward the idea of the extreme visual uncomfort of suspense. Scene so too with this needle pit scene, he wants us as the audience to see the frantic nature of the scene with the quick shot reverse shot cuts to show the torture and pain and the reactions to it with that reverse shot of its full discomfort. Therefore, with his ambition being this, he succeeds in harnessing suspense in different manner styles in, with his editing. But why? Why does Kevin Grucat do this style of editing and why does it impact on the film? The answer being he does this to make sure the audience care about what they are seeing on screen and get a reaction from them, using the spectrum of suspense with one end being a slow paced edit with smooth cuts so the audience builds fear and a jump scare to come, like in The Strangers, then a noir paced edit in the middle with graphic imagery for instance in Saw 1, and at the other end of this spectrum a frantic shot, fast paced cut edit with shocking imagery for the audience to feel incredibly uncomfortable with what they are seeing on screen. In an interview of Letterboxd, Grutert states, In order to honour Tobin's character as much as he wanted to in this film, we did have to slow it down, says Grutert. While editing the first saw, he and director James Wan often talked about the idea of never being boring, which sounds obvious, but I think it's harder than an average film to make sure that it moves. Every cut that I make, there's a really strong reason behind it, even if it's this very short clip, which it usually is in a Saw movie. This is important the point of how he changes the sessions and techniques for the directors given, yet still keeping a profound and recognisable art form of his. Therefore, with his work style in the 991 as assistant director on Ernest Scared Stupid to present day, Kevin Grutert has cemented his legacy as one of the most recognisable and notable horror editors of the past three decades.